Hi, my name is Anna White. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps to build this beautiful console table using $150 in white wood boards. This console table features mitered corners and it's solid wood so you can paint or stain it any color. The free plans for this project are linked below and include a detailed cutting list with detailed diagrams. Test and calibrate your miter saw before cutting. It's really important to have good cuts. Cut all of your boards according to the cut list. We're gonna nail this project together. With the face frames on the front and the back, the nails are plenty to secure it. I'm gonna start with the two side panels. So on the inside, I'm gonna add some one by two blocking to help me with attaching the mitered corner together. The mitered corner on the 1x12s was a lot of extra work, but I think it's worth it. It gives it that um, thick, chunky wood look without having an exposed end grain. Then I add the bottom shelf in there. I'm gonna go ahead and nail this in place too. After I get done nailing it all together, I took a square, so measuring opposite diagonals and making sure they match, um, and then let the glue dry. Now I'm gonna start working on the face frame. So I'm um, not gonna add the inner boards yet because I wanna add those after the face frame so everything's flush to the inside. So um, I did a measure and cut method here and just doing the long point to long point with 45 degrees. I'm using one by threes and um, I'm making sure everything is flush on the outsides and perfectly mitered in the corners. So once I got the face frame done on the front side, I'm gonna go ahead and add the one by 12 blocking to give the illusion that it's a solid, um, it's a solid board instead of an inside and outside board. You wouldn't wanna do a solid board because it would get so heavy and the solid board is more likely to warp and twist on you. So um, actually doing the outer frame was pretty simple. And then the most complicated part was adding this center divider in. So I did again, the put one board in, then add the face frame board, and then put the second board in, and then measure and cut and put the back board in just so I could get it perfect and the edges to be flush. This is such a beautiful, nice project. I really took a lot of extra time and care to uh, make sure it's perfect. This is a piece that is going to be kept for a very long time. The nail holes I filled with wood filler and then I sanded the entire project with 120 grit sandpaper. Sanding is extremely important for a professional looking finish. Then I just used some watered down white paint to um, add some white color to the wood. And um, once that was dry, I touched it up with a clear coat. So it kind of gives it that bleached wood effect. So pretty. Well, the free plans for this console are on my website, so make sure you head on over there and download them. Also, if you'd like to see more in this matching collection, like a coffee table, an end table, maybe even a bookshelf or a dresser, leave a comment so I know, so I know where to focus my time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please take a second to share and subscribe.